Hi everyone, two quick announcements before we start the video. I've linked in the description a repo which has a bunch of projects that you can build. The TLDR of this video is going to be you need to learn by building. What you need to build, I've linked a few projects and others you can find in this video of mine from the past. The second announcement is if you want to work more closely with me, I might be announcing something very soon. If you want to know about that first, feel free to either subscribe to my Substack, join the Discord or join the Telegram group linked in the description. It'll be a very close community of people to learn something very specific and I'll be launching it first on these platforms before I publicly release it on YouTube. That's it for the announcement. Now on with the rest of the video. Hi everyone, the GSOC results are finally here and a bunch of people from our network have made it in. So congratulations to everyone who made it in and bigger congratulations to everyone who tagged me on Discord and on LinkedIn. Always makes me feel great that the content that I put out helped you guys even if in like a small 1% capacity to crack GSOC this year. But this video is for people who weren't able to make it to GSOC this year. I'm going to be showing you my journey of when I was not able to make it to GSOC in my year one, how depressed I was that night, what I did in the next one year that made me crack GSOC twice after that, both in my second year and my third year, basically a roadmap for your next one year and more specifically nine months that are left for you to learn some technologies, what you should be focusing on and how you should be learning more importantly so that you're well equipped when GSOC comes next year to apply to it and maybe even make it through. With that, let's get right into the video. So let's take the clock back a few years ago. 2014 is when I joined IIT Roorkee. 2015, my first year ended and around this time is when I was not able to make it to GSOC. Before that, if you see, uh, this is when GSOC happens. I have like a bunch of small contributions, nothing too big in like some PHP projects, uh, which frankly back then PHP was sort of common and that's what a lot of my seniors knew. So they were like giving us test projects in PHP, never really used it after that. And this was like my sort of pseudo learning curve. But here I learned through a lot of tutorials and there's this thing called tutorial hell where you sort of do a tutorial not able to actually create real world projects, which I think is what I was stuck in up until March or April of this year. What happened after that was I did not make it to GSOC. And if you look at my contributions here, quite frankly, August is when I actually mainly started contributing. This was like the summer break plus me fiddling around here and there in filmmaking. August is when I realized that we have GSOC next year. But more importantly, it is around August that a senior of mine gave me a project. He told me to build chess from scratch, both front end and back end. He did not mention the technology. I think that was the best thing he did. In Alamon, I connect this thing that I was building. I was sort of restricted to a technology and a set of tutorials. That way, I wasn't curiously building it. I was building it as a task. But here, I was given a generic problem statement. You have to build a multiplayer chess game. Go and figure it out. Now, let's actually see what I started contributing to from August onwards. As you can see, most of my contributions are in SGS Lab slash chess. And if you go back in history, you will see the first contribution I made was initialize this repo on June 12th, 2015. So beginning of my second year is when I actually started building real world projects on my own without the help of any tutorial. That's when the switch flipped for me. This is what I like to call the inflection point in tech. I think it comes in everyone's life if you sort of keep doing tech for a while. The inflection point is when you become extremely independent, is when you don't need anyone's help or guidance. You've been given a task and you figure things out and that's exactly what happened here. And I kept on contributing to this project, sort of built this and launched this inside IIT Roorkee campus from as you can see like June to, I think this happened until January is when we actually launched closer to my birthday. So it was like a very long six month project. So around this time is when we actually launched this on campus. It was like a pretty decent launch. And, and this process of six months involved everything. Me building the backend from scratch, me understanding Node.js, running it for the first time. This was also a real time game. Chess is like when someone does a move, you need to see it in real time. So I understood web sockets, a lot of things on my own, which would have never been possible if I was stuck in tutorial hell. So what is the advice here? Pick a project, pick an assignment, do it end to end and launch it on the internet. That's the best thing you can do. That's what I did until Feb of 2016 and March of 2016 is when I made it into GSOC. So short and sweet advice here is start building real world projects. Leave the GSOC organizations for a few days. Don't contribute there yet. Build your own projects. Once you've built your own projects, then start diving into other open source projects or GSOC companies. Of course, start contributing a little early around Jan of next year, but until then, Focus on your skills. This is the time to sharpen your axe. Don't start contributing just yet. Sharpen your axe for the next six months and then start cutting the tree. Don't start cutting the tree with a blunt knife would be my biggest suggestion. You have another year ahead of you. 
take a break for the next 15 20 days i know it's very overwhelming if you don't make it in especially if you've made contributions and good contributions and you were expecting to get in take a break for the next 15 days then dive right back in start contributing and use a very project centric approach to start contributing again once you do that if you're consistent and you're actually interested in computer science and you reach your inflection point i'm pretty sure you'll either make it to gsoc and even if you don't make it to gsoc you'll have tons of opportunities you'll be scrambling through so either way it will be a win-win situation for you cool that was my short and sweet advice for people who were contributing to gsoc this year and weren't able to make it in if you were able to make it in let me know in the comments if you weren't let me know what your trajectory is and what projects you're building with that let's end the video i'll see you guys in the next one bye